reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy, beloved, this saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Of this I am the foremost, but for that reason I was mercifully treated, so that in me as the foremost, Christ Jesus might display all his patience as an example for those who would come to believe in him for everlasting life, to the King of ages, incorruptible, invisible, the only God, honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. By above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever, who is like the Lord our God, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below. He raises up the lowly from the dust, from the downhill he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather graves from brambles. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good, but an evil person out of the store of evil produces evil. 
For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but do not do what I command? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, listens to my words, and acts on them. That one is like a man building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When the flood came, the river burst against that house, but it could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who listens and does not act is like a person who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, it collapsed at once and was completely destroyed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, in the words of the Gospel, the Holy Spirit, As we stand before the Lord, let us place our needs, our prayers before Him, and ask for His blessing. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, religious, and laity, that they may always follow Jesus, listen to His teachings faithfully. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace throughout the world, in our own homes, in our homeland, and also in all those places torn by war and violence. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember in a special way all those who are sick and suffering, our own loved ones in our families, and members of our parish community, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus in their pains and sufferings and get you well from their illness. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us keep in silence our own intentions and also the intention of this Mass. This Mass is being offered for an environmentally sustainable lifestyle. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Hear these prayers of your faithful people. Bless us and help us to follow you and imitate your love and the goodness in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are ye, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this mark and why it may be come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are ye, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit, the vine, and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink, blessed be God forever. With the humble spirit and the contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hand for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace. Graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. All ways sent everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you 
So Lord the world that in your mercy you send us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but the sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and the saints, we do give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts be praying by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to give the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her in the fullness of charity, together with the Francis, our Pope, play service, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be 
always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed to cope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours in event forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said you are apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, the gracious, the grant, for peace and the unity, in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and the word of God, Lord Jesus Christ, be eternal life to us receive it. May the receiving of your body and the word of Lord Jesus Christ not bring me the judgment and the condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me perfection, mind, and body, and feeling for me. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Now permit me to be separated. The communion song, like a deer that yearns for running streams, my soul, my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. Let us pray. Grant that you are faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament. May so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his divine life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The prayer for renew my church. 
Lord Jesus, you speak to us today as you spoke to holy men and women who have gone before us. In every age and in our own time, you call us and say, Renew my church. Pour out the gift of your Holy Spirit upon us and so enable us to hear you clearly, to listen to each other attentively, to imagine our future boldly, to discern your direction wisely, to persevere in your holy will courageously, to stay together in charity, to surrender our own plans readily, to embrace the greater good, to hand on your gifts to future gener generations. May we remain in the holy company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Joseph, the Apostles and all the saints. May their example and presence inspire us with the patient and confidence in the work of your grace. We ask this of you, who live and reign with the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended now. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, and have a safe weekend. We will sing the second verse of Morning Cast Broken. She the rain new for sunlit from heaven, like the first dew for on the first grass. Praise for the Where his feet have 